Now, what have I got here? You know, guys, welcome back to the channel. And we're in the classic. And we're looking for the Axis Steer. If I've got to check my load out, I really don't need this pistol in this map. All right, we've got a couple of waters. I will need those. I don't know if I'm going to use the bow and arrow, to be honest. So we'll get rid of that as well. I use keeping crap we don't need. I'll get rid of all that in here. And these pistol bullets that I don't need. And the actual pistol. <laughs> so I might move this here. And put 10 there. I'll grab this one. The black one. So we're going to bring the G10 because there is also uh, foxes and rabbits here. The rest I can shoot with this. So you don't need too many guns here. Uh, where's my G10? Here it is. So we'll bring that up. And what is this? Birdshot. We'll whack a few of those in. And we'll grab a few more ammos. Let me look here. So this is birdshot here. We'll grab another one of those there. And we have bug shot and slug. We might save slug for the odd pig that might come at us. But yeah, it probably won't be happening. But you never know. So what callers do I have? I have an alt caller. Useless. We have a deer grunt caller. Useless. We have a wolf caller. So what can we call here? The pigs, for one. So we can get a pig caller. So where are you? Pig caller. Here it is. And we have kangaroos. Can't call them. Can we call Axis Deers? Is there a new caller that I haven't looked at? <laughs> Probably is. And, uh, yeah, we can't. Oh, we can call the foxes. So, right here, Predator Jackrabbit. And that's about it. That's about all we can call, as far as I remember. So, we have the dog today. So, our loadout is the bullpup and the shotgun. That's it. We've got a couple of camping supplies. Oh, do I have water? Uh, I forgot to look at that. Uh, I should have some, I think. Here we are. We have waters. So we have three waters there because this map will, uh, yeah, zap you a bit. All right, so let's start walking, man. So what we can find. Here's our pup. We'll, uh, hang on, it's V on this one, isn't it? We'll get it to uh, come here. Good girl, seven. So yeah, I haven't been in this game for ages, and now there's a new animal in. We thought we'd come and have a look. Uh, so this should be my binoculars, and it is. The one thing I like about this game, you don't have to keep pressing the button. I played Call of the Wild last night, and it's... This game seems so much more relaxed sometimes. Now, I'm not sure if I'm on the right side. I haven't checked any videos. <laughs> so this is the side where you get rabbits and foxes and goats, so... I'm sort of thinking maybe they'll whack the access deer out here. Right, we'll keep our hunter made out and just see what's going on. As, as you know, the animals call and then you can uh, ping them with this and then locate them. Even if we're lucky, we might come across a little rabbit burrow. They're always fun. So I'm not. I'm pretty sure the access deer is going to have to make noise. Every animal makes a noise, so. So far, we got nothing. Uh, Australia. It's not a bad map, this. I don't mind coming here, actually. If you get the kangaroos, you don't have them anywhere else. All the other animals, except now for the Axis deer. You can get pretty much another maps, like the European rabbit, the red fox. And the feral hog, which are they're, they're everywhere in this game. Ah, right, so very quiet so far. Right, we've only just arrived. All right, it is eight seventeen. So started at eight o'clock. You don't want to start, I suppose, too early. Sun is up, man. It is, when you do start early here and the sun's coming up, it's beautiful. Uh, what have we got across these ways? Anything that looks like an axis deer. Anything that looks like anything. <laughs> if 
Can I still even find a, a rabbit or two out here? Because you can perch above the burrows. And I like that sort of hunting. Alright, just keep walking. Alright, looks like the wind is blowing in front of me, which is bad. But hopefully that changes around a bit every now and again. Because I'm pretty sure these animals will smell me coming. Especially those goats, man. They are so touchy. Uh, hardly any competitions for the animals here today. I think there was one for the feral hogs to shoot for shotgun. And there may have been one for the rabbits or foxes shooting the furthest away. Something, but the... I was hoping there'd be one for the new animal, but they usually take a while. I bring in an animal and there'll be no competitions for it for a fair while. What is that moving over? There's a rabbit over there. I just saw it moving. I'll go over and have a look, see if we can pop a couple of those things. Because usually if you see one, like here, then they have the burrows and... Uh, you can just sit above them and wait for the rabbits to pop out. Oh, that sun really needs to come up. <laughs> right, let's run a little bit up this hill. Watch out for the scorpions. Right, now over this burn over here, I just see a rabbit walk down. I'll go have a look because there might be a you know, a pack of burrows around here we can hover above for a little bit till we find the axis deer. Alright, there's the old G tent. Better load her up. Beautiful gun this. It's my favourite shotgun in the game. You don't need a scope of this thing, mate. And the old bull pup. We'll load that up. Uh, real handy gun here. You shoot the kangaroo, the feral hog, the goats, and the axis deer with it. And shotgun can be for the rabbits and your your foxes. Ah, right, let's. I haven't seen any tracks <laughs> at all since we got here, which is a bit disheartening. But we have something here, and hopefully they're rabbits. I'd be better if they were access to but I did see rabbits around here. And it is bunnies, so let's try and find their holes. Where are they located? Put a shot in our hand in case one runs out. Shotgun, wrong gun. There we go. So all these here will be probably be rabbit um, footprints. Oh, there goes one over there. There's one. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There might be a hole right there. Or it stopped one or the other. Oh, yeah, look, here's the burrows. All right, so let's set up above here. Here's one of the burrows here. So that rabbit I just saw ran into that. So there's two burrows. So what we need to do is just sit up here. Usually I bring a stand. So you set the stand up. Look, here's another two here. And you'll set the stand up above the burrows here and just wait for movement and, uh, yeah, blast away. But you can stand here as well. Just stand very still. <laughs> and you can hear the little buggers. They scratch around and stuff. So I'm going to make my dog sit. Because I want to hear the rabbits and not the dog. Let's see if we can get a bunny. There goes a scorpion. Don't want that at all. This is sort of similar to Hirschfelden in Call of Wild now with the rabbits. They sit above the holes. But here I think they do it better. I, don't, I haven't hunted the rabbits in Call of Wild for a while at Hirschfelden, but they were horrible at first. 
I like the way they do it here. Like the rabbits will run in and out the holes, not just sit there. There we go. Can he one? Alright, we should have got that. Did we get it? Alright, here it is. Dead bunny. So we've got one. It's a female. Only 11 metres. And we're going to get 45... Jim, there's another rabbit, man. Just sell that. Oh, wrong guy. Where's the rabbit? Oh, I think it got in the hole before we could uh, blast the little bugger. Let's check. Oh, no, maybe it's there dead. As soon as I fall in the hole, oh, we've hit it. See, so we've hit it. It's actually wounded. And sometimes, they'll let them come back out. They can get another pop at them. Alright, dog, I thought I told you to sit. Let's get back over here. I've got a rock here. I might stand on this for a minute. Get a panoramic view, man. Death to the bunnies. Alright, so we'll get the dog to be good. And uh, sit. Good girl, come on. You're high enough level to listen to me. Alright, so no access to yet, but we've got a couple of bunnies. So we're off to a start. I've oh, got one bunny, one that's wounded in that hole. Which I'm hoping will pop back out dead. Be very nice if they've organised that in the game. There's usually like six burrows. There's two there behind me. There's two in front. And there's probably another two or three off to the side here somewhere that I can't see. But just listen for the little noises and that's the rabbits coming out the holes or going to a hole. And they're good money. You actually get a good bit of cash for them. Now I did do a poll on my channel about this game a little while back to see how many you guys are playing it. Not a ton, but still, there's interest out there for this game. I don't think we hit that bloody little bunny. Oh, it's coming back! I bet it ran in the hole then. Oh, we got it. Got that one. Let's go pick it up. I don't know if that was one that ran off and then come back. A bit weird, but it was nearly going to the hole there. Oh man, look, look at the ears on it. We have smashed its ears off almost. Yeah, look, right here, head, left ear. How much are we going to get? 33? So we'll sell it. Oh, there we go. I am in a. to shoot the longest distance with a rabbit. I can hear another one. I just want to see if I hit this other one here. Where is it? Is that my dog? Yeah, it's my dog. Dog, I told you to sit, man. So I don't think we hit this other rabbit. I just want to check over here. Is that blood? Hey, we got blood. Hey, dog. I have a dog who does this sort of thing. Uh, it needs to level up, actually. We haven't level the dog in a little while. Alright, dude, the blood's here. Uh, I'll try that again. The dog seems a bit stupid. Alright, blood. Source. Rabbit. Track blood. Oh, what level is my dog at now? 23. And it seems to be, uh, maybe the rabbit... Alright. I was just standing there. Bit weird. I can hear more footsteps around. The dog's just gonna stand here and not track that rabbit at the moment. Oh, here's something over here. Oh, I nearly shot the scorpion. Okay. I think it got in the hole, the little bugger. Yeah, it got in the hole, look. 
All right, so I do have a rabbit out there. The dog is refusing to track. I don't know why. Where is the dog now? And shoot it, did I? No. <laughs> no, we'll have a little more hunt here, and then we'll go and try and find these axes deer. I do like the rabbits. Like, I did do a video, one or two, just on these rabbits. But they're so much fun to hunt. And all you need really is a shotgun, even if it's a single shot shotgun, if you're a new player, because you'll get that for free, and I'll give you all the ammo for that gun you need for free. So it's a good way of starting your, you know, your whole journey off on this thing, if you're into the classic. Did that fall back in the hole? Or is it here? Oh, no. Oh, we just got a, a fling. How did we not hit that? Come on, game. Uh, and we've already shot one in this hole and it hasn't popped back out. Uh, look at my dog. Why is it... Oh no, that's how my dog's bugged out. Let me just, um, sit. Take some, uh, alright, now come back over here for this blood. Let's see if you can track it, mate. Well, we have an injured rabbit that you're refusing to track. Where'd the blood go now? Ah, maybe the track shouldn't have been there? Or is it here? Ah, oh, here it is. Right. Dog. Blood. Track blood. The piss? I oh, know. Let's see what the dog does. Oh, we've tried this and the dog went there and just stood there like a moron. Oh, another rabbit. Alright, you, you're not tracking, dog? What are you doing, mate? Alright, we'll grab this uh, rabbit. There's another one. Uh, good dog. Uh, we hit the tail and the left hind leg. And we're going to get 25. It's only a small one. Uh, so the dog's not going to track this bunny. So I might try and track it. <laughs> and then a bunny tracking isn't that good. I've got blood there. And it seems to have ran this way. So you wouldn't expect a bleeding rabbit being hit by a shotgun actually get too far what do I know hey, where is the next track how could it run this far after being hit by a shotgun come on my dog's refusing to track it I don't know why this is a problem with the track and maybe the, the rabbit is in a hole dead so that's why the dog is refusing to track it. That could happen. So what I'll do is just... We're not going to pick that rabbit up because... I don't know. Where's the next... So there's a track here from it or is this the hole? Oh, there it is. There's poop. I don't know what happened to the actual rabbit. Okay, roaming. There's tracks everywhere, this rabbit. And we shot it. And wow, that's a big scorpion. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where that crazy rabbit went. The dogs refused them to track it, so... I don't know. We're just uh, going to leave that one alone. Look at this gun. Hold six shells, mate. Which are the ones in the Call of Wildwood? Instead of just three, wish that the G10 had hold six, like this one. It's a lot better. In real life, I think they can hold six anyway, can't they? It's like some can hold seven. So I'm not sure what the problem is. All right, rabbit, rabbit. Where is it? Not sure if I hit it. Or did it get into a hole? Oh, 
Well, that one definitely got in the frickin' hole before I got the shot in. Did it? Oh, we got blood. See, another one that's bleeding. We've hit it. But it's refusing to die. Oh, did we get this one? I got in, after we shot, I didn't see it keep running. So I'm hoping we've decimated it. What have we got? Oh, man. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> Alright, so now we have two wounded rabbits in the holes that don't appear to be coming back out. Right, we've got one here that's wounded. Oh, it says fleeing. We had a blood track here also. I don't know. Right, back in our rock. We'll try this rabbit hunt a little bit more, then off for axis deer. Oh, dog. Scare him up, mate. You need, a, you need a ferret, don't you? Get the ferret in the hole and scare them all out. And just blast away. That'd be awesome. All right, here one. Come on. you got to be dead now, mate. I saw your head pop out. Should have blown it clean off. So forget this, I think it's the fourth. I think we've got three rabbits so far. Should be about four or five, but yeah. All right, you've been totally blasted. Right ear, body, front, left ear. Oh, man, there's a tiny rabbit. Nine. We're going to get nine. Damn, you bastards. <laughs> All right. Good for kids. See if we can get one more out. Like I said, they're fun. You can sit here for, you know, probably an hour. And I think once you get after about six to maybe, if any more come out after that, you might get maybe 11 rabbits out of a hole or something. Then it'll probably start to really slow down. So you'd have to go find another bunch of burrows. Come on, you're out of the hole. I love this hole here, don't I? Oh no. They're fast, man. It's going back. Oh, look at the blood there. Oh, no, we got it. Alright, beautiful. So we hit the neck, head, right front leg, and the tail, and what have you. And when it's 34, that's not a bad one. 34? We can, we can live with that, man. So there we go. What do we get? Like four or five rabbits in fairly quick time. And when we don't have a stand, we're just standing around like a pauper. Like a poor hunter who doesn't have a hunting stand. And, uh, yeah, we're still getting the rabbits. Let's try for one more. And we'll be heading off. So we'll find where these bloody access deer live. Maybe they're on the side where the kangaroos are. I didn't really check. So I just thought I'd come out here and have a wander around. I like the, just the, you know, a hunt like this. You can just hunt whatever you see, really. Ah, dog. You are acting funny today, mate. The dog's bugged out all of a sudden. They used to be pretty cool. This one didn't track. But I think it may not have tracked because the rabbit may have went down a hole. And then the dog just won't track it then, probably. Uh, looks like we might have cleaned the rabbits out, buddy. We've shot a few. Hey, how we going, turkey? Do you hunt in real life? I used to. Not anymore. Whoa, 6K subs. Yeah, I remember when you were under 500. Yeah, thanks. I remember when I was like 11 and I put out a video and then I had like eight people were leaving every video I put out. I went, oh, this ain't working well. I'm supposed to go the opposite way. All right, let's see if we can find some access to you. Yeah, I used to hunt in real life, but not anymore. I live in Australia. It's really hard to... You know, if you want a gun license, go to the gun cabinet and this and that and do a thousand courses just to go hunt a rabbit. So, yeah, bit of a bummer. Oh, does anyone know where the axis deer hang out on this map? I haven't even seen a track yet. Oh, we'll keep wandering around. We'll pull this out because I'm sure they make a noise. So, pick that up for the hunter, mate. Look at the distance and pull out the bullpup. It's a beautiful gun. 
Now, if you're a learner in this game and you want an all-round sort of gun, the ball pup, it's hard to go past. I was in kill so many animals with it. Yeah, and it's a good gun to, like, your first main gun that you bought with your GMs and that. It'll earn you a lot more cash once you've got it. Because you can shoot bears, all the deers, all the dogs, you know. Such a versatile gun. Oh, so hopefully my map has access here on it. Like, it has updated, so they should be here. Even a goat would be nice. I don't mind the goats. When you get ones with the big horns, looks like big handlebars. Axis deer on the east side of the map. So am I on the wrong side of the map, am I? Let me look here. So should I be here? At this uh this location? I started here. So I'm on the wrong side of the map or the right side? Or we go here where the kangaroos live. So I'm not really sure. So east. Hey, so I'm sitting. So I'm, I'm sitting facing east here. So I don't know. Is it there? Right, we'll go have a look over here. There is kangaroos, pigs, foxes, and uh, maybe the axis deer over here. I have a going, dog. You're not dying of the heat, are you? Oh yeah, there goes something running. Come back, you bastard. That was it. It was an axis deer. Ah, uh, thank you guys. I was on the wrong side. So what we're going to do is uh, just... We'll st we've startled the little bugger. So we'll just go around. We'll go slow. So yeah, that, they're here. So we just saw one run off down that way. So we're just going to walk slowly and see if we can find a little herd of them and, uh, or, you know, one or two and, uh, blow their brains out, man. Well, their lungs. We'll shoot them in the lungs if we can. Uh, what was that? Is that a collectible? Ah, so there's the axis deer. They're fleeing. That's it there. All right, cool. So, as usual, I didn't watch a video before I come out to hunt. I just went, oh, let's go look for some access deer, man. <laughs> uh, my binoculars don't zoom. So, if you're waiting for me to zoom in, I got the cheapest binoculars you can get. I think they were free when I joined. So, yeah. Ah, there, look. There's one there. Uh, let's see if we can spot it with the gun. There it is. All right. So it's space with this, isn't it? Oh, I think I missed it, man. Definitely missed that, I think. Well, they're over, but I think I missed it. At least we're on the trail. We have found them. They're around here. Go to the United States for a hunting trip. A little hunting trip with a guide or something. That'd be nice, but... uh. No one's allowed to leave Australia at the moment, so... <laughs> and I don't know when we're allowed to leave our own country. One day. Alright, this has got to be its tracks here, right? Probably. The one that ran off. I want to hear what sound they make. I like hearing the, you know, when it's a new animal, see what they sound like. What sounds they're sort of making. Oh, we've got up here, guys. Nice kangaroo would be nice, wouldn't it? Big male would be awesome. Yeah, I don't think we've hit this axis, dear. Probably hold the shot too long. Trying to hit the lungs there. Yeah, new blood there. Let's have a little look over here. Uh, so far, it's probably best not to run on this map because you can faint and stuff. That's why I bought a couple of waters with us. Just in case. Uh, this looks like they've been hanging out here, hasn't it? That's the original one we uh, saw. I'm not sure if it's the one we shot at. 
It looks like there have been a few hanging around. Alright, let's keep walking. We'll go up this hill so we can see over both sides of the canyon here. If we're lucky, we'll see roofs and access deer at the same time. You watched because you thought your voice was relaxing. Thank you. <laughs> You've been watching me for almost four years. You're the first started doing Hunter Call of the Wild videos. Yeah, I was pretty much one of the... Everyone else was still doing the classic, and I just jumped on the Call of the Wild straight away. And now they're all doing Call of the Wild, huh? But you can't forget about this game. This is a... It's still a beautiful game. It's pretty much glitch-free. Like, the hunting is uh, probably a bit harder, and that's fine. You know, a bit more of a challenge. But you have your competitions, you have leaderboards, and it keeps every record of every animal you've shot, every shot your gun took. And you can go to the Boone and Crocker Club, and if it's a deer, it'll give you all the points and the antlers and what have you. So they've done this game really well. A lot more detail than uh, Call of the Wild, that's for sure. Uh, so if we get up here, we should be able to get a good view around this area. And uh, yeah, hopefully find us our first access deer that we actually <laughs> hit with the with a bullet and not miss. And there are tracks everywhere here though. What are these? Oh, the other side of the map was pretty... Oh, we've got goats. We're pretty... Um, apart from the rabbits, there was nothing there. Kangaroo. Another kangaroo. Alright, so we've got a, a few animals been hopping around here today. I thought the kangaroos went down, probably to the water. What's this here? It's like something, it's probably just a rock or a poo. Oh, it's a poo, I think. Is it a poo? Looks like a poo, man. Alright, big root poo. Oh, look, there goes, I just saw the deer run over that hill there. So if we make our way over to this hill, we should be able to see the other side of the canyon. I might be able to get a shot in on this little bugger. Uh, we've, is that a goat there? Yeah, there goes a goat. I was, I'm not really worried about that goat at the moment. I want to see if we can spot the axis steer that just ran over this hill. Now, I don't know which way the wind's blowing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, no idea. I'll we'll just go to crouch a bit as we move up. I don't want to scare her off enough. I still see that goat down there. Not interested in that yet. Man, I wish the sun had come fully up, although they're not going to start to uh, heat up. Hey, Twizzler, how you going? Why must I spell like cancer? I don't know. Don't worry about it, buddy. I do it the same thing. I get a bit dyslexic sometimes. I think it's because I worked in a laboratory for five years and you had to be so precise with everyone. It ruined my brain. <laughs> Made me a bit dyslexic. Alright, so let's stand up. Oh, stand up. And see if we can spot it. Oh, there's a nice goat. That could have been our black friend that ran off earlier. He was standing around. Where's the access deer? It did run over here. Oh, there's a, a, another goat, I think, down there. Oh, we'll shoot the goats. I'm just hoping to see. Like the axis deer like ran right over this burn here somewhere. That's a goat. Another goat. One the bloody brown goat that ran over here, was it? I love that sound here. That's how actually Australia sounds on a hot morning at when you're out in the scrub. Oh there goes kangaroo! Oh, there goes the access deer. It was there. Did they smell me or hear me? 
Oh, there goes the kangaroo up the hill. Another roo. I have, there's the goat. I can't see the axis there. Why'd they run? I'm not even moving up here. So I don't know. Will you ever make another Call of the Wild video? Well, we've done um, a five-hour stream last night, buddy. With uh, Skippy, another YouTuber. So I'll still do uh, Call of the Wild. There it is. I haven't really been playing that much at all lately, to be honest with you. Like gaming at all. Is that the Axis Deer or is that a goat? So yeah, we did do a Call of the Wild last night in Africa. And we got, man, we got... Personally, I think I got like 11 to 12 lions. Skippy got a few. It was a big lion hunt. Went looking for Cape Buffalo and lion. And man, did we score. So I thought I'd come here today. Oh, no way. Oh, I think I hit it. That last shot might have hit it. Let's go and look. I thought I saw it falling down. Yeah, it is. It's there dead, I think. So that's... Man, that is one hell of a shot if I've hit it that far away. So hopefully this is the axis here. Yeah, so I still will be doing Call of the Wild. Um, just, um, you know. We did have it, you know, because I did go to stream it like a month ago and it was the game was all broken. So I waited for the new patch to come out, which was this week. Which I think was 11 gigs. Um, downloaded that. Yeah, we done a five-hour stream last night. There might be a stream tonight, but it might be Red Dead Redemption, because we were talking about it yesterday. There, there's our... That's either a goat or the Axis deer. I can't really tell at this point. So we get closer. Hopefully it's the Axis deer. <laughs> oh, no aimbots here, buddy. Pure talent. If you can call it that. That was bad shooting, actually. The first shot should have hit it. It was standing there still. And I didn't. I missed it. I probably, you know, went above its back. That's why it's why you come back into a game after a while and the first so many shots with the gun aren't that good. As we'll find out with this kangaroo. Right, I think we hit that. I'm hoping we did. So I'll go check this brown thing here first, where it is there, and we'll see if we've hit the kangaroo. You never know. Yesterday you got a max score puma. Very nice. That was a diamond, yeah? Proceeds to pop it into your lodge. Yeah, well, you know, they're handy lodges, aren't they? It's something nice and big, you can whack it in. All right, where's our brown buddy? I thought I was running towards it. Ah, right, here it is. So C, the distance. <laughs> and if it's the axis there, I'm hoping it is. And there should be a kangaroo just over there, hopefully. Let me look. What have we got here? Oh, it's a goat, is it? It's not an axis deer. We've hit a goat. Brown goat. I was stooged. Alright, feral goat. Distance was 273 metres and we hit the brain. Oh my god. 13.6. We're going to get third, maybe 14 GM. Yeah, 14. Nice shot. Long distance, but that was the last shot I hit it with. 
I should have hit it with the first shot of this kangaroo. Alright, let's have a look at the kangaroo. Kangaroo! Still no access there. So maybe they're across the water. We'll have a look one more over this hill. If I can't find them, we'll go the opposite way. Oh, this looks, what is this, a little female? What is this? Yeah, it's female. And we hit the left lung, stomach, shoulder blade. And another 14. Check these binoculars. So I'm pretty sure that first animal we saw was an axis deal. Was that a brown goat? And I tricked myself. Can I run up here? You reckon my man will be able to run up this uh, steep hill? <laughs> Bullock go vroom, man. Go right for him. How's my dog going? Can you run up here, dog? Need a few wedge tail eagles on this map, man. They are an awesome eagle. Probably the, I think they're the biggest eagle in Australia. They are huge. Sometimes you'll find the collectible up these areas, around these things. I think I found the Aboriginal knife or something once around here. It just goes in your collectibles. I right, get a really good view up here now. If we saw some access deer from here, it would be beautiful. Uh, no more running, because my man will start to have a heart attack. And I'll need to drink the water. Surprised we haven't seen any pigs yet. You should get a few feral pigs over this side. The other nice fat one. Alright, so my... Is this where the axis did at the axis... There was an axis right behind the kangaroo. Oh my god, did I miss one? That'd be right. I do that a lot sometimes. I see one animal and don't see the, the other one. Which is a bummer, but, you know. It's nice up here, though, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the view you get, man. Pretty much just sit up here and snipe if the animals are in the right area. Alright, come on. Any movement down here? Where are the animals today? What is going on, man? Give me an access, dear. You're not asking for much. Because I haven't seen him yet, so I really have no idea what they look like. And I need go by what we have in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm sure they'll be very similar, but different. Alright, what's that? It's either a goat or a deer. Won't spot, so I can't tell. Let's walk a bit closer. Hello! Are you a big goat? It looks like it might be a goat. Yeah, that's a goat, man. There's no way the axis deer are going to look like that sideways, are they? Exactly like a goat. Oh, you can sort of hear a, like a, I don't know, it's like a windy noise up here. It's pretty cool. Surprised. Where's, where, where is everybody out here on this map? And they have um, Dorenda distances further nowadays than it used to be when this game originally came out. So you do see animals further off in the distance than you otherwise used to back in the day. So if, like there was an animal there, we'd see it. It'd be within the render distance, like around here. And there is nothing. <laughs> Where are the animals? What's going on, mate? 
I guess we should head back to that outpost here. I gotta wait 12 minutes. Damn you, game! So many rules. So we'll have to wait 12 minutes before we can head back there. So I thought then we could go down towards that water and maybe that's where the access to you. Hey, the Hunter DD. Hey, man, thanks for the tip. How do you like the new access to Well, I'm, I'm, I can't find them yet, mate. <laughs> I've got a kangaroo and we got a goat, but I can't find the new access deer. I'm hoping to. I'm sure you've probably got like a million of them. But this is my first hunt uh, for the access deer, so... Apparently everyone said I'm on the right side of the map. We did see one closer to the outpost earlier. So I'm going to have to head back that way and try and find... Um, what's going on, man? I have no idea. But they're here somewhere. We just gotta find them. I thought maybe they might be over near there, near the water. Oh, there's sort of nothing around here. Look at you can see for miles here. Is that might have been an access deer? What was that sound? It is. All right. We. All right. Okay. Now it's starting to get a little bit better. Now my access deer that dot that come up my hunter mate will be wrong because I've never tracked them or done anything so that'll be off but should we, do they have a caller for the access deer you haven't found the man either I'm sure you will man you're such a good hunter but we have heard one oh, there it is there it is let's have a little look at it it is running away I don't know if that's a male or female. Oh, not going to hit it with a, <laughs> with a shotgun from here. Oh, man. That's full stretch on the scope. I don't think we hit that at all. We're going over to have a look anyway. I had to take a wild shot because that thing was going to nick off anyway. It was on the way out the door. <laughs> Do we have a caller for him? I probably should have seen if there's actually a an access deer caller. Because I could have settled it down and made it turn around. Because we have him in the uh, call the wild, so we should have him here. But I actually didn't check the store before I took to the hunt. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it only looked like a small one. That's a kangaroo print there. But at least we're in the right area now. We know that they're around here. That's why I wanted to head back to that lodge, because that's I think we first saw one when we come out of that lodge. Alright, here's its track here, I think. Is this it? Alright, access to your trotting. And probably crap in its pants as it ran over the hill as I was shooting at it. Uh, we didn't hit this at all, man. Oh, no, we hit it. Okay, we have a dog who can uh, track stuff. Must have been on the second shot. Uh, it's hopefully the dog tracks. It wouldn't track the rabbit earlier for some reason. But I think the rabbit may have fallen in the hole. Uh, it is fleeing. But the bull pup should put this down, I'm hoping, like it would a goat. So let's let the dog do its job, and uh, hopefully she'll level up a little bit as well. I'll get near there. She's level 23. Oh no, what are you doing sitting, man? <laughs> do not sit. Does that mean the thing's not dead? We've only scraped it. No, we'll keep going. It's like the dog's given up. Hello? You're supposed to be a um, hunting dude. Let's see if I can make it just go off the track. I think if they level up, they can. Come on. Do your job, buddy. Are you just telling me it's probably not dead, huh? Fita just waits and gets close. Yeah, I know. He's like a, 
an icon of the game. I can't hunt that good. I'm not that patient. Oh, I didn't shoot the whole mag, man. I didn't have that many bullets in it. Uh, it might take a while shot every now and again, because when, when you get it and it pays off, it's pretty cool. Oh, there it is, actually. Oh, I can't. There you go. Alright, that's probably the one we're following. Now I can uh, pop some new bullets into this thing. There we go. So let's see. Looks like it went down. It looks like a little female though. So let's have a look at her. There we are. Oh man, check the colour out. Let's see if we can squash stuff so we can see it better. I'll take this out of my hand. Yeah, it's only a little female. And this is probably the one we wounded, I'd imagine. It was just standing there, a bit dazed and confused. Not a bad model. Look at that. Face looks nice. Got a really black nose. And you got the white dots on it. And my dog likes walking on it. So we'll pick it up. So this isn't the one we hit? All right, no score. Because it's a female. So we're not going to get any money in this. We've got my first achievement, Access Deer, unlocked on that one. That's pretty cool. So does that mean the other one's still out here injured? I think it does. I think it does. Yeah, it's, it's a different one, isn't it? So I still have one out here that's wounded. Which was standing in the right spot to be the one that I'm looking for. Uh, so that one was back here. I just want to pick up on that track again. But it did stop bleeding. It's a bummer. I think they'd head down towards the water a bit more, wouldn't you? We'll just hang around up here a little bit and look down and just see what we can find. I wouldn't mind getting a mail and see what the, the antlers and what have you look like. It should be pretty cool. Hey, thanks for that tip, man. That's cool. Seven mil would kill an axis if you hit it in the toe. <laughs> I imagine it would. Now, if you hit him in the ear, just if you hit the ear, it would probably kill it. It would probably just bleed out to death. I think the 7 mils is a good gun. I was telling everyone earlier, if you're just starting the game and you really want to buy a first gun, the bullpup's not a bad gun to grab. Because you can pretty much hunt on every map. You can shoot all the dogs, all the deer, the kangaroos, the goats. It's just, it's so versatile. Alright, we do have one out here in Windows, it's probably going to die. Although well, the dog stopped tracking it, so I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to die for a while. Uh, so I'm doing alright. We haven't need to have any water yet, which is pretty cool. So you haven't come out yet, TD, and hunted these? I thought you would have already been on the way. I know. I think Who Cares has been out. And uh, Ron McTube. I haven't really checked who else has been out. I didn't watch their videos. I just come out and just thought, let's have a hunt. See if we can find them. On oh, Jaxi, um, done them on um, EW during a week. I think he got a couple. Well, here my breathing getting a little bit harder. 
So once you start to spin out a bit, you're going to drink the water. Look at that weird looking thing over there. I think it's just a stick. This looks weird. Australia's a bit bare today. It's not super hot, so the animals should be out and about, you know, doing their thing. Not midday yet. No, it's still only 9.59. So that means it'd be only like 30 degrees out here at the moment. Right? Not, not the hottest part of the day yet. There's a the little outpost. And the first axis there we saw was just on the right of it there, over there. Uh, I'm going to have to, next time before I do this, I'm going to have to see if there's an axis D caller. I actually have a weed caller. What was that caller that I got? Hang on. What call access to you? Uh, why doesn't it show me everything here? Uh, oh, because I'm not in the freaking um, <laughs> lodge. you got to be in the lodge. As I bought that deer caller that you can use on the other part of Australia. On what are that what are them deer called over there? Maybe it works on access deer as well. Let's go over to the lodge and we'll have a quick look. Oh, you've been looking for a giant mule in call the wild. Yeah, you like a mule deer, don't you? I actually like the mule deer too. I like them more in the classic because you can get the really weird, <laughs> non-typical ones. They are so fantastic. But I've started to hunt them more in Call of the Wild. Now that they've got, um, you know, better racks on their heads and they're not all the same. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go to this lodge. I want to see if this caller that I bought not long back calls access to you. This is for the other deer in the tropical part of Australia, which I can't remember their names now. <laughs> I usually go there to hunt the water buffalo. Ah, let's have a guja. Near, nearly there. I could have fast travelled here, but I'm going to save it. You know, you can't travel for like an hour or so. Alright. Now when I go to equipment, and here. What's that one? That's red deer. This one, what's that one? Moose. There. Rooster deer. Will that call a... Can that call... Rooster bucks... What almost rooster deer nearby? Attracts rooster deer. So it won't attract the other deer. Well, that's no good. Oh, I've got it anyway, but yeah, it's not going to work. Where is it? No, I don't want water. Not yet. <laughs> no, that won't attract the nexus deer, will it? I was use a road decor. Let's check around the water mat. Now these things have got to get thirsty at some part of the day. And you think they'd need to come down the water? And I'm surprised I haven't heard one feral pig today. Usually you hear them you know, on this map a fair bit. I 
hard. These deers are going to be hard to find, I think. It's not going to be um, an easy hunt. Oh, there we go. We heard a pig. First one of the day. It's so unusual not to hear them when you're here. It's over there somewhere. Look at the water. It's very clear. Right, what have we got here? What have we got, man? Ah, oh, there it is. There goes our piggy. I actually like the feral hogs in this game. I think they're pretty cool. Although close up, the, the modelling does look a bit ugly on the wild boars and the feral pigs. But they haven't had a makeover for a very long time, like the bears got a makeover. Should have hit that. Let's see what happens. It's running, though. Eh? Oh, there goes another one across there. There was actually a couple. Let's go see if we hit the little bugger. Oh, through the water. Will it work? Yes. Oh, no. Come on, you crazy game. It's the littlest bit of water and it holds you in your tracks. I hate that. Shoulder blade, yeah, I think so. I might have aimed a bit, uh, <laughs> bit far to the right. Let's see. Didn't, like a, didn't look like a very big pig anyway, but still, we want to hit them. Oh, we got hit. Not you. Oh, I did run up over the top here, so I don't even know if I... Oh, is this it here? Uh, that is a pig. I'm not sure if that's the one. Up and over, baby. Oh, here we go. We hit it. In the body. So you're probably right there. Be the shoulder blade, do you do? Come on, dog. Do your thing, man. I give you dog food. Where you going? Oh, come on, man. Didn't run down there. What are you doing, dog, today? Okay. Um, you going in a roundabout way to do this? But the blood's here, dude. And it goes up here. Okay, this is like my dog's... Um, I don't know what the hell's going on with that thing today. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I was bleeding. That's one good thing. My actual... My boar and hog track, and our feral hog track is pretty high. We should be able to find it without the dog. All right, fleeing one to thirteen minutes ago. I uh, do. They're like a bear. If you hit them wrong, these things run forever. And like twenty minutes later, you find them dead. It's like, oh, oh, dog, you, 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 you're doing your job or what, mate? All right, would well, stop bleeding though. But it might lead us to a whole bunch of uh, pigs standing around. All right, it's running this way. Oh man, I've done a bad shot. <laughs> Who needs the dog? Yeah, they're good to have though. I like to have them as you know. You got. It feels like you're not hunting alone. Looks like someone's with you. It'd be nice if they were a little bit more noisier, the dogs, though. Even in uh, Call the Wild. I wish they'd bark a little bit more and breathe heavy and, you know, so you know it's there all the time. Uh, yeah, big scorpion. Uh, it's like I've ruined this pig. 
because uh, the dog's giving up um, looking for it. As you can see. Actually ran the wrong way. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, padding sounds. Padding sounds. Just, you know, even we had two dogs out in Call the Wild yesterday. I mean, it would be nice if they knew that they, each other dog was there. And if they looked at each other and recognised, they are another dog. And that would be pretty cool. But I know it would probably be hard to put in the coding and whatever you say. Damn, you pig. What's that there? Is that an animal? Am I looking at a... Is that a goat? Or am I looking at a log? Oh, yeah, that's a log. And so apparently the pig went this way. <laughs> We're on a search for a pig, man. Ah, there it is down there, dead by the looks of it. We have found it. It's gone down, and the dog has refused to um, track it for some reason. So I think DD will be right. We've hit the shoulder blade, and really got no penetration. <laughs> there were no lungs there to hit the shoulder blade. Yeah, pretty uh, strong little pig, mate. So have a look at it. As you can see, the modelling's a bit weird when you get right next to them. Uh, they look like a bit of a sack of potatoes in a way, but it'll do. And we hit the body somewhere here, <laughs> I'd say there. And we're going to get 33, maybe? 32. 33. Oh, where are you, man? So close that one even register on this. Oh, there you are. Where are you? Are you kidding me? You're right in front of me somewhere? Obviously the wind's not blowing that way, so... Oh, there it is. There it goes. Behind the bush. Oh, I just slowly moved down. I think it's probably having a drink at the lake here. Uh, if it didn't smell me, the wind could be good. It's going to be really quiet, hopefully, because it's gone beyond that ridge and there's no way I'm going to be able to see it unless I move across. And we won't use bird shot on it. Still looking for a male access deer, which, uh, yeah, they're pretty rare. <laughs> I've had a female. And one that I badly shot as well. Alright, stand up, hit the wrong button. We see this goat anyway? So it's still beyond the thing here. Alright, I was walking across here, that's why I really couldn't get a good shot at it, because it's a bit down. But, I'm hoping it's still here. What's that? Is that a goat in the bush there? It is. It's a white goat standing there. I'm pretty sure we saw a brown goat run by. Not that I'm going to be uh, picky. We'll shoot all of the goats if you know, any one of them. All right, so we've got a white one over here in a bush. And it's, if it comes out of the bush, there's another one at the back. I oh, mean. Did you smell me? Ah, oh, look at them all there. I was hoping we could get one closer. The thin ones, the shaggy ones look not bad, but they're gone. So the wind may have changed, and now they've all... Uh, no, I'm here. I've got a white one, a black one, and a, another black one in here. Come on, I didn't hit it. Oh, 
I uh, didn't hit it that time. Uh, let's wander over. Let's uh, stand up. Come on. <laughs> uh, if you press X, look what happens. Oh my god, I've gone crazy. <laughs> I remember the first time I've done that in game, pressed X, I go, what's going on? I can't shoot. <laughs> and I realized, ah, hit the X button. <laughs> it looks weird when you do it. I wish it showed where you hit. Yeah, I'm, I know. I don't think I hit any of these goats, though, to be honest with you. I'm shooting horrible today. And this is a pretty high level gun, actually, my bullpup. So it doesn't swing in that, that much compared to some guns I have. So if I'm not hitting them well, it's me. <laughs> it's not the gun, it's me. But that black one, I think we hit it. I still want the Axis deer more over goats, though. Like, where are they now? We might travel back to that lodge soon and just, um, I don't know. Another thing we can't do here is change the time. So there'll be no change in times. Sometimes you just gotta, sp <laughs> yeah, spray and spray. That's a good way of putting it. You gotta spray and pray, man. I was surprised that I was so close at first. The first one, it was very close. I thought the wind's good, but then they all ran away, so now the wind probably wasn't good. Yeah, they've just run off over there. See if we can hit that brown one. How bad is my shooting today? Like, come on! That's bad. Bad shot. Man, I'm shooting shot today. Now I'm getting the wobbles. Alright, let's look across. They're going to run out of places to go because I'll run out of reserve. We must be getting close to a border. We are, look. But if we don't have trains that go through here, I think that'll look pretty cool. I know we've got a train track. They don't really do stuff like that in the classic, do they? Where, you know, things don't move. <laughs> I think in the Yukon, though, we have a train that goes at 7.30 or whatever in the morning. You actually stand in front of it and uh, let it wipe you out. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Ah, uh, let's check this out. I didn't walk through the other outpost, did I? Now, what is this? Let's go and have a look, my fine collectible man. The old house on the hill. Have a look at it. Could be haunted. <laughs> I doubt it. Bugger you goats. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go here. And we might go back to that other outpost. See if we can find an access to the mail. Pretty much what I'm looking for. What's that running away over there? Bloody white goat. We haven't even seen many kangaroos. And it's Australia. It's like, come on. <laughs> I can go up the Union here and see like 50 of them standing there. Uh, so let's just stop the road. Uh, well, can we get in this thing? Probably not. Be nice if we could, though. I don't think I've ever noticed this before. Oh, there's goats. Oh, we might be able to get in the back. I was interested to see what this is. And is there a collectible? Is there an Aboriginal knife or something in here? Probably not. And can we go up the ladder? Alright, press E. Look at that, we're up. It's 
It's pretty cool that you can actually go up, though. They should have an old newspaper or something on the ground there. Yeah? A couple of old paint tins or something. Look at that. You know, it's a little sniping area here. Not that there's anything to shoot at, but hey, it's still pretty cool. Nice if there's a, a, a water hole down there or something and the kangaroos come in the afternoon. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so back down the ladder. Press E. <laughs> Alright, can't get out the window. Alright, so I'm going to head back because I'm pretty sure I didn't use my travel allowance yet. Oh good, we can travel back because if I use it, you got to wait an hour or so. Alright, and I can hear something calling. Ah, access to roaming down this way. Alright. Now we are going to take it easy, guys. We're just going to crawl along. I'm trying not to scare this one. It may be a male. Has it done that sort of sound like the males in uh, Call of Duty do? So we will see. But I do have to find out. I uh, imagine there could be a caller for these. And I didn't bother to look or buy one, if there is one, because it'll make it a lot easier to hunt them. You can actually just sit back here and then call it in. Let it come to you. Instead of you trying to, you know, sneak up on it. Alright, so the hunter mate told me it's around here somewhere. And because, you know, like I'm not... These are new animals. No one's spotting or tracking's going to be up high with these. So I wouldn't mind to find out if there is a caller for these because then we could sit back and call this in. But hopefully we can see it and it doesn't uh, freak out and run away. And I can get a, a good shot at it for once today. Can I have one good shot please today? I checked the hunter mate again. Oh, it was like around here. I wish it'd make another noise, man. What's that? That's a rock down there. Damn these cheap binoculars that I can't zoom in with. <laughs> That's my bad. I think it was a rock down there. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Where you be? So I'm not sure which way the wind's going. I didn't bring any wind indicators, which I never do in this game. I just sort of leave it all down to, you know, luck. We know there's one around here. I'm hoping it's a male. I want it to make another sound. As when we heard it would have been, I don't know, around here a bit further either side somewhere. If I can find the tracks. What's that sound? Ah, oh, another access deer. They're still in front of us somewhere. There, I can see the antlers, man. Oh, that's not a bad one. Alright, I'm going to have to be really patient. I want it to walk out here somewhere. So I'll get a clear shot. I'm not shooting through bushes or across a tree. Now, this is where we need a caller. I can see it's going to walk up and down on this freaking spot here. If it goes in there, we could be in. Trees are going to get in the way. So it's in there, behind them trees. So if there is a caller for this um, animal, I'm going to get it, because this is where it will come in handy. 
So I don't have to... There it is. Oh, man, it's in the bushes. Uh, we're going to try and just move slowly closer. Because it is a male. It's got um, antlers. And in front of us is water. So I don't want to spook it and make it run. I just want to get a clear shot. Oh, man, that was it. Making a noise, wasn't it? There's another one. I might hear a little... Let's just show you the map in case you are coming here. It's this outpost here. And we're just here. So when we first got here, we saw them on this side of the outpost. So this outpost, you know, around this area seems to be where we're finding them. Because I've been the other side of the map. We started the other side of the map. Everyone said, no, no, go the other side. So we came here, and now we're starting to see them. There, he just moved across there. There he is. Oh, look at that. Nice, 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 isn't it? Oh, tree, tree, tree. <laughs> yeah, I love them trees, man. He does move slow. He's very graceful walking through there. Like, he's not in a rush. So the wind must be good here. But I've lost him again. I gotta wait till I see their mantlers move. Damn, so you get that clear shot if you don't you don't get it any <laughs> There he is, there he is, there he is. Alright, alright, don't move, please don't move. Alright, best shot of the day, thank goodness. Just keep our eyes open in case there's something running off in the background. And we're going to get our first male access to you. This is what we came here for, so very good. Let's have a look before we pick it up. We're not going to pick it up yet. Now I was just walking up and down here. It wasn't in a rush. And there we go, man. Now, looks like we put a bullet maybe into the top of the lungs there. Probably should have been a bit more across and down off that shot. Look at the face, man. Now it's obviously a small one. The antlers aren't that big. So it's not going to be a record breaker. And then we'll just, you know, get a good look at it. It actually looks nice. It's actually dog. It's actually not a bad um model. I like it. Like it looks real. Like the nose looks black and shiny. You know that all oh, the eyes are probably dulled a bit because we killed it. And the body actually looks really good. The hoofs are really black, aren't they? Look at that. Look how black the hoofs are. Not bad. I will F12 that for my um, Steam. Because it's my first mail. Not our first one, but our first mail. So, let's do this. Alright, we hit the shoulder blade, neck, bone. <laughs> Missed the lung again. I am shooting bad. Look at that. We hit the neck. But our trophy integrity is 100%. Wound time was straight away it died. And we're only going to get 35 so, score is 87.99. I'd say, look, the weight of 86, I'd say this is an average one, I'd, I'd imagine. I'm sure they get a lot bigger than that. But hey, not bad for our first one, male. I'm pretty happy with that. But damn, that was alright, man. Let's look across this water now. We'll just hang around here a little bit. We'll be very quiet. Because it seems to be where the access deer wander in and out here. They wander around this part. What is that there? What am I looking at? Probably a rock. Yep. <laughs> as long as with the reflection, it looks like there's something, you know, 
white sitting there. I don't know if they live on the other side of this water, but I can't imagine why they wouldn't. I don't know how confined their area is, how small it is, how big it goes. I think around here is a good place to start for the access deer. Just out of that outpost, we seem to be finding them. Everywhere else, we're, <laughs> we're finding goats and kangaroos and stuff, which is fine. And maybe they like it. Like, how, see how it's pretty thick here? The scrub's thick. There's a lot of trees. Maybe the deer's like that sort of treed area where they can hide and take a bit of shelter instead of way out in the open. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing. Who cares will probably know. If, if he's done a video on the Axis deer and you're into him, I'd go watch it because you'll have every little detail in there. He is the master of the Hunter Classic. No offense to any other hunters that may be here, just uh, that dude is, uh, for the classic, he is awesome. He knows everything. All right, let's, uh, if we can't visualize, let's see if we can hear him in the distance calling. Walk the other side of this uh, outpost now because we've scared it up this end. Although we don't get hunting pressure in this game, which is good. And we don't have uh, zones. No feeding or drinking or sleeping zones. Just animals. <laughs> uh, let's run through this outpost because... Uh, Man, this dude walks slow. That's for sure. Yeah, he is the OG of the classic, isn't he, Dodo? He is the original, man. Like, I think when I first started getting into the Hunter, it was his videos I was watching. Like, he was, like, one of the only dudes making these videos and I go, this guy knows everything. <laughs> he just knew everything, how to get moose, how to do the white tail, the, the mule deer, so like, this guy's crazy, he knows everything. So yeah, he is the original of the classic. He's the big daddy. And I think he still ha uh, is on top of the leaderboards in that game. And do that, man, you gotta be really good. You gotta be persistent and play this game all the time to get on them bloody leaderboards. All right, so last time the wind was good when we're facing the opposite way. Not sure how it's going to be this way. It could be blown towards this access there, but uh, we might slow down a little bit and see if we can sneak up on this one as well. Yeah, it seems to be around this area, as I think is probably the, the hot spot for the access there at the moment. I think they like the trees. I think that's why they're here. These trees, this cover, is probably what deer is like. Uh, let's check this again. Uh, so it's apparently in front of me somewhere. So hopefully it's a male and we can see some antlers. If not, it'll be harder to find, but we'll still hopefully find it. The sounds of this map, I really do like it. It's very atmospheric. And because I'm from Australia, I can tell you this is how it sounds when in, in these areas. This is what it will sound like. But it'll be blazing hot, man. Even in the shade. <laughs> You'll be sweating. Right, let's recheck this. Try not to, if you're new to this game, try not to leave your hunter mate out. Once you get a call, just pop it back away. But then when you pop it out again, you'll see where he called from. But if you leave it out, that'll go away. 
and then you'll, you'll sort of get closer and go, oh, where was it again? <laughs> and the Hunter Maid's like the, your biggest tool in the classic. You know, apart from your weapons, obviously, but you use it so much. Uh, let's stand up and just see what we can see. And some walking around, moving. I thought that male earlier was very casually just sort of walking up and down. I can't see anything. So <laughs> we get back down here. Oh, we just made a noise. Oh, he's still in the same bloody spot, man. I just, I can't see it. I bet it's like there's a bush or a, you know, a tree in my way, but it, is that's it is that it there what am i looking at oh that's it there look good um they that really blended in there i have to look twice to see that look at there he is there it's a male see it once again he's just casually walking through the trees i think i don't know you're there they, they're just moving very slow they seem to be very uh non-stressed There he is there. I just want to see what he does. If he come, will he come out here? Or will he just hang around there? I got a bad shot in there. I got a tree right in the way. We'll just have a little look at him. I like that they just move nice and slow through the area. They're not very noisy. So there could be another one around. And I, there, there is. There's a female there. And so there could be another one around. We haven't heard it yet because they. Not a very noisy animal. So that's the male again. Oh, he's down near the road now. So he might, if I sneak out, I might get a clear shot at this guy. So he's got a female behind him. So it's probably with him. And he seems to be heading towards the road. So let's get on the side of the road and we might be able to get it clear shot maybe oh there's a couple of kangaroos in the background about three of them uh, where do you go and so try it have you come out all right dog take it greasy mate go slow Oh man, hopefully I haven't lost him, but he was walking towards the road and I was hoping to get a clearer view. Like hopefully it hasn't run, I haven't heard any, you know, anything gallop off yet, but it doesn't mean it hasn't. Oh man, we may have lost it. Oh, it's still there. Look, it's in the bush. I just saw it spots. It's in that bush there. It's still here. I don't know how close I can get to it. I don't know if I'm going to get a clear view of it now. There it is. Is that the male or female there? Oh man. Let's just stay down. I'll get a little bit closer. And I'm seeing it flash in and out. There, that's the female. Oh, that's the male that made that noise. Where's he? Oh, he has crossed the road. So it's probably the female I was looking at then back there. The male seems to have come out here somewhere. Oh, bud, did you cross the road? So 
It looks like he should be right where we are here. Well, like I said, my tracking on these things aren't that good, so I could be getting a bit of a false reading. Oh, it ran! Oh, damn you. I'm pretty sure I just saw it run there. Damn. So they're hard to sneak up on. <laughs> Let's even see it running off in the distance. Ah, uh, I reckon that was the male, too. Oh, no. What happened? Hang on. My um, screen just freaked out on me. There we go, I'm back. Yeah, look there. What's that? I see a butt walking off into a bush there. Or come out the other side. So they're a good looking animal, really. That wasn't a bad looking animal. Pity it sort of found out we were here. I wanted to have a bit better look at it, and then, you know. It's still there, see? So. Back over that way. So it did take off, but it hasn't gone. There it is. It's coming back, man. Look at that. That's a bit better than the first one that we had. So we did spook it, but it's decided. And once it gets here, we might get a nice shot at this. It's decided to come back. Oh, look at it. Now that's not too bad a one there. Wish it was a little bit closer. Oh, no, no, no. Why? I didn't even move. Oh, I see it jump wild shots, but... Damn, why would it run? I understand that I'm not moving, man. Did the wind do something? Did something happen? I'll wander over and see. Just nice to see him anyway, was, you know, get a look at the new animals in the game. But that was definitely a bit bigger than my first one that I shot first male. That looked like a pretty decent one. And it was coming the right way and then all of a sudden it just took off and ran. It's like, why? Why did you run away? But that's hunting, that's, you know... Animals are like that, aren't they? If they get that little whiff that you're around, they're gone, man. They don't hang around. They know something wants to kill them. You know, they're... <laughs> they run. All right, let's check this out. It was nice to see DD pop in today. Very nice. Hey, gave me a bit of a boost to my paycheck there. Thank you. Not that I get a paycheck, but <laughs> maybe next month I will. Alright, do we hit this thing? Is this it, where it bounced? But it should be spotted though. I, we like highlighted that, so I should have it. A... Such a cool looking access to you though. I was... Why, don't, why did it run? So we'll walk along here a bit. It may want to come back. Who knows? It, it's already done that once, right? It ran away, then it sort of came back. So can we get it to do that again? Although the first time we didn't shoot at it, so... A difference there. <laughs> Shooting at him. I'm glad they bought out a new animal though, like, they still tweak with this game and, you know, have they redone the turkeys, which look really fine. Before that, they'd redone all the bears, which look really fine now. And they're bringing some new animals into the game, so, very cool that they still do that for this game. 
as you know, it's probably like 12 years old now, this game almost. I've been playing it for, I don't know, how, <laughs> so many years, so long. I've lost track of how long I've been playing it, but it's been out for a very long time. It was probably already out for like a few years before I started playing it. And it was mainly because of people like, uh, who cares, that I started playing this game. But back then, it wasn't free. Obviously, probably when DD even joined back then. Like, we had to buy our guns and, you know, all the stuff. You couldn't buy as much with GMs as you could now. I don't think you could buy weapons with it. Like, I used to pay real money for the guns that I bought in this game. Except for recently, well, now I can use the GM that I saved up for all these years. And, you know, buy equipment, buy guns, buy tree stands and... Whatever else you need. A tent. Maybe you might need a tent somewhere. It's actually, you know, people don't understand that this game is so much better than now that it's free. Because we all used to pour money into it, you know. <laughs> Just to, you know, not tons, but you'd sort of say, oh, I don't mind spending. Because you'd have to pay your license fee each year. I think that was like, I don't know, 40 bucks. And I had to buy two of them because my niece wanted to play as well. And then, you know, you'd have to buy the weapons and stuff. So for me, it was a little bit expensive because I was paying for two accounts so my niece could play with me. But now that they've made it free, here he comes. Is this him coming back? Now that they've made it free, well, it, oh, it's a female. You've got to put time in and not so much money. So that is a better... What's, is that a male one over there? So there's a... Is that a, that's a female, what's her face in the axis steer? And there's something on the corner there. I don't think it's a goat. Let's just sit here for a minute and see. Oh, we've seen two. So one walked down and then stopped. I don't know where it's gone. And we had one peeking its face out over there. That's a female? There's one behind it, I can't tell if it's a male or female. Oh, here comes one coming towards me. Is my dog swimming? Ah, uh, good girl. I like it when you be naughty. So we've got one there that looks like a female. We've got one there also looks like a female. But there was something behind that tree there. Yeah, that's the male. Oh my god, it's like super far away now. Ooh, we're right on the edge of... Uh... I hope I might hit it in the guts. Eh? I reckon I might have hit that in the guts. I can run straight to it. Because that was right on the limit of it had to move a bit more. Probably would have been out of render. So we'll find out. Let's see, man. Be nice to get a, you know, another male. Be pretty cool. But that could have been the original one. Like there was one. He had a female with him. We shot it. It ran off. So that could have been him hiding behind this tree back here. I'm really stretching my limit with that shot there, though. Let's see how we went. Uh, I don't even think I spotted it because it was so far away, so... Yeah. Alright, so it was back here. I'm trying to run straight. Oh, I heard a kangaroo. Kangaroo! Female. Alright, so what have we got back here? Uh, that's not. A, that's a pig. Ah, we we hit it. We actually hit it. So cool. 
Now, dog's got to do a thing. Please track today, dog. I want you to level up, and I don't know what you're doing. You're not. Hello. What's wrong with you today, man? Is it the heat? Are you too hot? Look, blood. Dog. Track blood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna ignore me. Uh, it looks like there was a bit of. Was it? Wasn't. What's it telling me there? Uh, why is it saying we got blood, but it's not telling me what type of blood? It's not a vital, obviously. Just uh, it seems to be bleeding a bit. Look, all right. So, hopefully, it looks like I may have hit it in the stomach. All right, something just ran down. What's that going up the hill? Uh, that's the female. We'll let her go. As we're looking for the boyfriend. Now, I'm really not sure my dog's not working on this map. Uh, my access deer tracking skill went up to level 2. Well, that's uh, <laughs> pretty low. That's low. Uh, we're getting there. We'll slowly get there. Uh, here's the next track over here. So you can see I'm level 2 tracking on this, so it's going to be horrible. Uh, it's fleeing and ran. So let's go up here. Alright, uh, here we go. Is the next track. Is there a deer attached to it? No. But it is bolting, man. There's a uh, running scared. Alright, uh, here's the next track. But as long as we can track it, I'm good. I did when I started this game. Like the biggest pig I've ever seen in my life in this game. Till this day, I shot with whatever free gun I had. And I hit it. And I was at um, Logger's Point. And my tracking was horrible. And I tried to track this thing. Ah, oh, we found it for hours, man. And yeah, I couldn't... Um, there was a kangaroo. I couldn't... Um, I couldn't find it because my tracking wasn't good enough. It was the biggest feral hog I'd ever seen till this day. I reckon I would have went on the freaking leaderboard, mate, if I'd have hit this, you know, found this big. Now, let's look at this. We'll take this out of our hands so we don't accidentally pick it up. Oh, look at it. It's in a different position than the other one. I'm going to try and get a nice... Where's the sun? Was it... Its face was showing this side. I want to take a photo for me, um... I'll get back here a bit. That looks sort of okay. So we'll F12 that. Oh, it's not, not too bad a, you know, looking uh, deer here. Let's check it, Matt. All right, distance was 219. Nice distance. It's 41. And the score's 100. So this is a lot better than the first one that we hit. And the wound time was 1 minute. Six seconds. Like it just says hit body, like that he said. We should show us. I think we hit about here, stomach or liver there or something. We hit somewhere there. Um, but uh, as it was a bit back the shot, it was my bad. But we did get it eventually. Let's go up here and have a look. We've heard a kangaroo. We have access to it down this side as well. Let me stand up. And stop running. There's uh, only fools running this game. Well, you know, <laughs> when it's hot, it's probably best not to run too much. Cause, like, I haven't had to have a drink of water yet. But if I ran around like a, you know, like a maniac, well, then I probably would have needed two bottles already. I heard one call. Why did you give me the fleeing thing? I heard a kangaroo call. I could be on the other side of this uh, rock here. I just want to look down here. So now we did get... Not a bad male axis deer on the second one. The first one was all right, but I think it was just an average size. Well, that second one was, you know, above average. It was nice. But still, it won't be the biggest you can get. This game throws some huge animals at you, like when they're really big. Like that pig I was talking about. Like, but... Once you see them that big, like huge, biggest... Oh, there they go. 
You'll probably never see one like that again for years. I know I won't. We've just scared the hell out of the kangaroos. Let's <laughs> talk up here. They do that in real life too. Oh, well, someone's just stand there and look at you, watching you walk. I'll talk. It's like, okay, what are you bunch of kangaroos up to? It's the males you've got to watch in the, like the breeding season. that They will come and attack you. And they'll try and box you. And then they stand on their back tail and kick with their back legs, which have really big claws on them and can rip a man's guts open. So you've got to be careful. They look cute and cuddly, but yeah. They can uh, actually... Kangaroo could kill you if it's the big red one. Yeah, it'd be really unlucky if it did, but, you know, there is a chance. <laughs> there you go. That's a female. There she is, a little one. I, I'm this, I think they haven't done this in Call of the Wild yet because this modelling of the kangaroo might be a problem for them in Call of the Wild at the moment. Like, I'm not sure, but they got it perfect here in the classic. Look at that. There you go, and that's what they do. If you come from Australia like I do and you've sat there and watched the odd kangaroo, they've actually got it down pretty good, you know, the how they act. That's how they slow down. They go on their front legs and just stand there, and then they'll do that, lick their paws or scratch their face. You know, they do other things, but, yeah, they've got the main things of what kangaroos do down pretty good. Hey, Owen, how you going? Hope you're having a good weekend, mate. We've been uh, shooting a couple axes there and a, the odd kangaroo and... Oh, we did shoot one pig. Very horrible shot, but it did eventually die. Now, yeah, I thought we'd come here and just see if we could uh, find some of the new axes there. And I got... The uh, first one was a female. And we got an average male. Then not a bad male after that. A bit above average. But there isn't a ton of them. Is that female still just... Kangarooing around, will we give her a blast and we'll give it, we'll try it. Oh, where are you, girl? Where'd you go? Are oh, you moved? I was gonna say, oh, we might be shooting that one, we'll just watch it run off. Sat there for a while, as soon as you pull out the gun, there they do. Bye bye, <laughs> it ran off. Oh, come on, man. Nah, that's fine. I didn't really, you know, I didn't care if I shot that or not, really. Because my main aim today was access there, and I'm pretty happy with what I got. I got two males. Like, I'd, they're obviously not out here in big herds. Well, <laughs> not that I can see yet anyway. And they do seem to be more on this side over here than over here. Usually you find on this side, like, feral pigs and kangaroos here. There, there's a goat. There's a goat just sitting in amongst the stuff there. And there's a female. It's not like I hear something walking. It was probably my dog. Yeah, that's it. Just sit down, girl. I do like, you know, the dogs. I like the dogs in the Call of Wild and I like the dogs in the Classic. I hunt with them all the time. There's a pig. Looks like a, I don't know, it might be a female. Doesn't look very big. Let's see if it spots. I Usually when I do come to Australia, I'll sit up here like this along these ridges. You can walk right along here and just be very, you know, just stand around and see what you, you find down here. And if you just, you know, be patient, you'll always find something. Like that kangaroo and that goat, they're just standing around. Now I've lost the pig. Yeah, I've got a pig call. We can call them and just see if we can get one or two in there. That's the fox caller. Eh? <coughs> hey, called straight away back. They're good, aren't they, with that? But called straight away. First call, call back. It's a male. Didn't look very big. Was it a different pig I haven't noticed yet? Well, there's the goat. Not looking for your goat. And looking for the pig. Where be the pig, man? I'll give it another call. It's been pretty good. We haven't needed one drink today. 
Yeah, DD was here earlier. I don't know if he's still here. He was here. He gave me a donation. Very nice of him. First time I think he's ever come to one of my live streams. Very nice. We'll see that. That no, was nice of him. We hang around for, you know, probably half an hour to an hour or something. Uh, where'd my pig go? We have called it. Ah, uh, there you are, my little porker friend. Oh, you are a male. Really? 720, 1120? I think it's more 700 <laughs> size. The, the tusks don't look very big on it. All right, so he's just there. I'll give him one more call and we'll see if he, that stirs him, and we'll give him a, a pumping. <laughs> we'll shoot him, man. Yeah, he's coming in. Look at him. He's a good boy. He's thinking that there's a female up here you can have some fun with, eh? That's why he's, he's coming in. You naughty boy. I'll go for a brain shot. All right, might have got that brain shot in. Yeah, I'm actually, look, the map is really brightening up now. We are now at midday. So this is, you know, in Australia, we're starting to get pretty hot now. We're out in the outback, probably like 35 degrees already. And be that thick heat, yeah? Like you have to cut through it with a knife. It's that thick, the heat. Like, what's going on, man? This heat is sticking to me. <laughs> have you done the rancho... So, no, I haven't done the missions on uh, Mexico, man. I haven't even really done them on New Zealand. I like to do the first two when it says open up an outpost or a, you know, a, a lookout. And then I'll stop doing them. <laughs> uh, I just, just gave a little wiggle there. Let's have a look. I reckon it's going to be about 700 of score, maybe 690. Oh, 819, I'm surprised. Didn't look that big. We're going to get 41.3, although that's not big in a pig. Like 1,000 and over, 1,100, 1,200, that's big in a feral pig. So this is very average. That's why I, we did hit the brain. When I first saw her, I thought it was a female. So, And then when we checked the hunter mate call, it came up as a male. I went, okay. Yeah, I haven't done the missions, man. Uh... Oh, for ages in um, Call of the Wild. I've still got missions to do in the Savannah. So, yeah, i am uh, really behind in the missions in Call of the Wild. My favourite ones were um, Medved had the best missions, I think, in the whole game. And they really put an effort into them ones, you could tell. So I really enjoyed those. And the Halloween ones, if they bring them back every year, they're worth doing again as well. They're pretty well done. Especially at Leighton Lakes, it's awesome, man, when the, the elk come out the, you know, and they're like, you got to shoot them all, it's like they're going to kill you. It is. They've done that really well. They, they can do good stuff, but it probably just takes so much time to do it. So, like, after Medved, the missions did take a dive. They weren't as good, I don't think. Can you link me to the series of missions? It's just um, Medved Tager, mate. The Medved map. All the missions on that, once you start them, you'll be in the whole thread of them. And they're all really good. You end up getting a diamond bear through it at the end. You'll get a diamond bear, you have to check all the reindeer, there's a, you know, some of the reindeers have got like disease and crap on them, the weather turns you in, but the whole mission thing is, it's really good the way they've done it, and just on, I mean on Medfed. <laughs> I think because it was their first DLC map, so they really put an effort in, and uh, yeah, you, could, you can really tell. I've done a few videos on the missions on that, but they're very old now, those videos. I was thinking of um, 
re-slotting the missions, repaying for them and redoing Medved missions and making videos on them. Because I don't think they're ever going to make missions that good again in this, in uh, Call of the Wild. Because you actually felt invested in it and it felt, you know, just to me it felt like, you know, you wanted to come back and do the next mission. And the voice acting in it was really good too. The lady who done the voices, man, she done a good job. Tricked me. She had me believe in her anyway. <laughs> so, there's another goat down. They're going to just stand around the train tracks. You can see even my spotting on the goats isn't that high. Like I can, I can't get all the information. I don't know what the score is. That unlocks at level five. So this goes to show, like I haven't overhunted these goats. Even the kangaroos, really, I haven't overhunted this Australia map. I, I used to go to the other one a lot more because I like the big buffalo they had on it. Like the biggest horns in the world you see on these things are amazing. Oh, did we scare the goat off? Did it actually know we were here? It may have. I'm going to head back now. One more time to that outpost to see if we can find one more access deer. Hopefully I don't kill myself going down here. So we've got to head to here. Let's see if we can find one or two more access deer before I quit for today and oh there's a female I want a male and uh yeah there's something moving across there there's a male access deer is it yeah that's got to be one that's not a goat or is it a goat So there's a female there, female access there. Or mine another male. We've got two males. One was very nice. Oh, let's walk along a bit. There's something run over the hill. I'm not sure if it's an access deer or a brown goat, but because I could only see behind. There's a pig over there as well. Hey pig. No, that's a goat. Something else running over there. Another goat. There's some goats in the background over there. Got the female access deer wandering around here. I want her boyfriend to come out. The nice one would just stand on like there, right? Be awesome. Oh, there, there we go. There's the male access deer I want. Man, it is super far away. Let's try and get a little bit closer without making too much noise because we're up on these rocks which aren't loud. There he is. Just stand there. Let's get a little bit closer. The horns look fairly big on it, man. Yeah, we can't spot it yet. It's still pretty far. Oh man, there's two. Don't worry about the kangaroos. There's two males and a female. So I've got to get a little bit closer. I'm going to try and just stay up high here so they don't hear me. I doubt they're going to see me. They'd have to have a binoculars like I've got and I don't have. So, so let's give it a shot, man. Let's try this, so. There he is. Look at that. That's nice. They're the best horns I've seen all day. So if I can get on this set of lip here, we'll get there. Oh, yeah, I can hear the kangaroos. But that's not what we want. All right, here we go. Oh, look, they're both males are together. The one, that one's the biggest one now, I'd say. 
Then he pulls the got this thing one. Damn you gun. Damn you gun. Let's put ten in. And then let it reload now. Ching Jong. Let's see. What have we got here? There he is. I'm going to let them all rest run. I don't care. We got the one we're after. That was the big one. It's so beautiful. We smacked it one. I probably could have went the one bullet. All right. I know everyone's thinking that now. You had one bullet in the gun batch. Should have just used that. But you never know. That first shot might miss. He turns and you go to take the t second shot. You don't have it in the uh, chamber. It can become a... <laughs> An issue. There he is. Look at that. They look not bad, those antlers. So I'm hoping this is the biggest one of the day. The other one was over, a score of over 100. Can we do it again and can we get a better score? Man, it was what, three axis there, two males, a female. We had like four kangaroos there. I think all the kangaroos were female though. So I really pays to hang up on them cliffs there and just look down. Hey Marcus, how you going? That's wild you were streaming again. You left. Yeah, I know. I went to bed last night and slept. I woke up today, went shopping, thought oh, I might go hunt some axis there. Might as well stream it. So, here I am. Oh, it's been a quiet week for me. I'm sort of hitting it now on the weekend. Yeah, that looks not bad. I reckon this could be the best one of the day, man. Oh, them antlers look a bit better than that last one we picked up. Oh, dog, you just got in the photo then. Crawl on it. You've turned its head for me, dude. I want to... There we go. Let's push head back. You want to take a photo without you being in it, dog? Let's try that again. Ding dong. All right, now let's pick it up. That's not bad. Now, we probably clipped the back of the lung now, I'm hoping. Or the liver. We hit the liver. That'll do. That's a kill shot. Oh, no. It's, oh, no, it is. 142. The other one was 100. This is 142. We're going to get 63 GM. And this is our biggest one of the day. Trophy integrity, not a problem. Wound time, it died straight away. Distance was 142. And the weight is 96.8. So this is my best one so far that I've, uh, yeah. That we've done. I might even take a trophy shot. Bugger it. I reckon. So go to orange. Put a gun in our hand. Let's, uh, I don't have the poses, so i just got to do it manually. So just bear with me, guys. I didn't actually, I'd rather spend the money on a gun than the poses. Even though I'm, ah, that's not too bad. Let's spin this and come in like that, a bit back. And there we go, look at that. There's me, the dog, and a nice access deer. Let's check the filters. Oh, wow, that's saturation plus. Uh, it's going to go no filter, <laughs> except for that. And we're going to sell it for 63, and we've got a... Got us our first uh, trophy shot of an access deal with me and the dog in the photo. What we might do is for a minute, we're going to go back up here. We're going to let this area settle down and see if they come back. There's a chance it could happen. And I've got to go fill my drink up anyway, so that'll give me a minute. I've got to walk off for a minute and I'll be right back. Just let me get my avatar up here. Run, man. Get up there. The Rancho del Royo missions are very cool. I might have to try them. I just I sort of done some streaming from there and I made some videos and I stopped going there because you guys with the consoles didn't have the map and I felt bad going there and then streaming it or making a video about it. So I only done a couple and then I just stopped. I thought, nah, it's not really fair on the dudes with the consoles who can't play. So I just stopped going there for now. So... I probably will have to check out the missions. If they're cool, it's fine. I'll do them. But if they just go there and look at that and click on it, I, I sort of get bored of them. I usually like more involved. Although I am particular like that. I do love missions. 
that's why I like playing like GTA 4. I've been streaming that because I, I get a ton of missions to play. And they're all really challenging, so I like that. All right, give me one minute. I'll be right back, guys. I've just got to fill my drink. And I just want to see if this uh, access deer comes back or not. Drink is full. I need headphones. Alright, nothing's come back yet. I really need to get them um, binoculars that I can um, zoom in and out on. <laughs> but just like I said earlier, when this game first came out, you had to buy everything of cash. I think these were free. These binoculars when you you know became a member. So I just thought oh, I'll just keep the free ones. They work. There's no rangefinder on them or no you really can't there's no zooming. But uh we live. Hey Roy, how you going man? Long time no see. Hope you're having a good weekend, buddy. I haven't been playing uh, I know you like probably wanna play the GDA. I haven't been playing that this week. I actually haven't been gaming that much this week, so it's good to get back into it. So this rest will do my avatar good. If you keep walking too much, you do need the drink eventually. Like, you'll be like this and the, everything will start getting wavy. And you go, what's going on? <laughs> Don't draw my vision, then it's just the heat kicking in. All right, so we might move across here. We might come back across we'll sit here another minute see what happens but it seems to be so far we've pretty much found all our access deer from this outpost and like right around this circle here I can draw on this can't I I used to be able to draw on this thing. Yeah, draw an action plan. So here's our outpost. So our first access deal we saw about there. And we got one over here. And then once again, we're here. So we shot one here. So it seems to be this area here is where we're finding the access deal. So if I could draw like a circle and it would meet up with it itself. Yeah, sort of around this area seems to be where the access deer are hanging out. So I did start the other side of the map and all we got were rabbits. And everyone said, come on this side, and then we started to find them. So, but once I wandered off too far up that way, we weren't finding them. We are finding pigs and kangaroos and goats. So I don't know if they're like, just sitting in this small area. 
I don't think they wander all over the map by the looks of it. But that's cool. At least you know where to find them. Sort of no zones. And I'm sort of glad there's no zones. Now what I might do if I can, if I can afford it, <laughs> not afford it, but if I if it lets me, or fast travel, come back. I want to fast travel here. Oh, am I clicking the wrong button? Uh, well, fast travel and just see if we can see him. Well, hear a pig straight away. Let's see if we can find another access deer. Now, we found our f a nice one over there earlier. Now, when we find them, really, if we don't sight them, we're hearing them. The males do like a roar. So like a sound like in Call of Wild they make. It's pretty much similar. So after we shot them ones, they may have ran down this way. Well, you know, we shot one and the others ran off, so. I have a little listen. So I'm fine then. So we get one more before I have to log out for a while. I might be back tonight with Skippy and we might be doing Red Dead Redemption. If I need to do something, <laughs> I'm going crazy. And, you know, gaming with you guys, it makes me feel like I'm, you know, out talking to people and I feel normal again. So that's cool. Instead of just sitting here <laughs> doing nothing. Yeah, so I might try the missions at Rancho Rancho Del Arroyo. But I'm considering redoing the Medved missions and doing all videos on them. Just so people remember how good those missions were. I think it's like 30 grand or something to reset your missions, or maybe 300,000, whatever it is, I, I got the money. <laughs> uh, like in uh, Call of the Wild, I got over 3 million, I think. So, I sort of do nothing with that money. Except buy bullets. <laughs> I'll have 28 lifetime supply of bullet money. Very more. Now I'm surprised they haven't had to have one drink of water yet. Usually by now, I've gone, and we have run a couple of times. Um, I start to go all hazy. Does that still apply to this map? I think it should. It used to. I know it does the other part of Australia. Ah, there we go. There's a... Could be a female. All right, let's um, go to crawl. Crouch, not crawl. <laughs> not crawling on hands and knees. Ah, you been missing the vids? Yeah, sorry, man. I, I nearly put out a a vid saying, I'm sorry, I haven't made done anything lately. I've just been feeling a bit down. And then when I'm like that, it's hard to get myself up and be cheerful for you guys to play a game. So i got to sort of wait until I get... And then I, I contacted Skippy yesterday because I wanted to hunt with someone. So we went and had a... a you know, a five-hour stream on Call of the Wild, which the most lions I've ever got, we got yesterday. Oh, let's just be patient here. There seems to be... I think they're goats, though, at the background there. I can't see white on their body. So we've got a herd of goats moving through. We've got two female access there, but I know there is another male that was hanging around these females, if they're the same one. So I don't, I don't know, I'm hoping he is behind him and pops out somewhere. Because they're, they're just standing there. I don't really want to, you know, I'd rather shoot a male goat than them females. Because you're not going to get any money. Female access deers, you get zero dollars. Or GM, even if it's the best shot in the world, you're not going to get a cent for it. They can shoot them for the sport, but I usually like to make um, my GMs and try and pay for the bullets that I bought today 
didn't buy many, just bought some seven mil bullets that I needed. I had 111, so I thought I better, better buy a few more. Not that we haven't even used 100 bullets today at all, but better safe than sorry. So plenty out, look, you can see the ghosts in the background there. Brown one, got about three dark ones that I can see. I was waiting for something nicer to come along. Oh, where's your boyfriend's girls? And after when I I'll have to check later in the store if there is a call for access to you. I didn't check. I didn't check at all. Uh, Marcus must think I must have been streaming non-stop. No, I have slept in between, mate. I think we streamed last night. It was about 1 in the morning here when we stopped. I stayed up for another hour and then went to bed. I just felt like streaming when I woke up today. I thought, well, I haven't actually seen the access deer on this map yet. And usually when a new animal comes out in the classic, I, I get out there and have a look. I might have to shoot a goat here, guys. Let's make our way slowly over here. Look up in here. Look a big access out. Let's look at that rock over there, will you? Look at that. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? There goes the female. Now, ghosts are just standing around. You can't get too close to these goats. That is for sure. All right, so no male access deer around me at all that I can see. We have two females and goats. All right, the females are cleared out by the looks of it. And the goats may wander up this way, looking at them. I don't know what they're doing with it. I thought they might come up. We haven't heard a fox today, but they're usually on the other side of the map. But you do get them both sides, the foxes. But mainly where the rabbits are, is you'll see more foxes. So that every now and again you see them brown goats and you go, ah, oh, it's a male access deer, but it's not. It's just a damn goat. Let me go a little bit closer. Ah, he's coming up. Look, there he is. He's leading his little herd up this way. Good boy. Has that got the long hair coat on that one? It's eating. It's a female. It has interesting horns on it though, doesn't it? It's like you could almost ride it like a Harley. And they've got one trying to walk up a tree there, look. Uh, we've got the, the leader of the pack there, I think it was a female. We'll go over and pick her up. Press C and you will run. I go to press shift. <laughs> the wrong button on this. So every every game has its own button, doesn't it? It's like when I play Red Dead Redemption because I play GTA 5 so much. I forget that I have um, in Red Dead Online. You have um, an easier way to shoot things. You put it on Dead Eye and it slows everything down. I always forget that I have it. 
Alright, let's check this out. It was a female, so it's not going to be huge, but the antlers did look pretty interesting. Or the horns, whatever you call them, these things. And it's a long hair one. Well, the hair does look a bit matted, but uh, who cares? It's only a goat, right? How much are we going to get? 30? 20. 27 we're going to get. I mean 21, sorry. 27. Where did I get that from? I don't know. Hang around here. Goat stuff, man. I actually don't like the goats. They're not too bad. They're a new, good addition when they first came in. Look, there's some, they're running down there now. I saw something run. There they go. They've just followed on that line and kept going. Look at them rocks up there, man. Look like sculpties, like when you build in games. You can use like a, it's called a sculpty. You can use mesh. They look like it's a sculpty. Here comes a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Another female by the looks of it. Just watch it jump along. Those look pretty good. The molding on the kangaroos do look really good. I like the way they move. There, let's give it a call. That's how they sound too. Yeah, female. Usually the females are in like a little pack every now and again. Where the males, you know, they they sort of don't do that. As a feral goat, I can s oh there it is behind the tree. Man, that is spotting really clear for something that's behind the tree. And there's the kangaroo moving. So I might end the hunt there, guys. I've been going for two hours, 27. I've got a few things to do this afternoon. And one of them will be to eat. <laughs> I need to eat today. And, uh, yeah, feed the birds and uh, just do a few things. And I should be back, hopefully. Let's have a go maybe tonight with a Red Dead. I'd imagine, I think we we'll, said we might do. So if you're into that game... But that'll be a fair few hours from now. That'll be later tonight. But I enjoyed that. We actually got, I think, three male access deer, a female. Um, we got a kangaroo, I think, a pig. And maybe a goat or two. So I would have made all my bullet money back, which is good. And made a little bit of profit. There was a bit of bad shooting there. And I take... Full blame for all that because uh, just the way it is sometimes. And then we did, came back with a bit of good shooting, so yeah, I sort of made up for it in the end. And yeah, had a good hunt, and there's a that looks like a male kangaroo. There we go. See, that's more, it's like red, not brown. And it looks a bit bigger than that uh, female. Look at that bird, Matt. So yeah, a few kangaroos around. I was just hoping for, you know, that male access there to come back, but I don't think it's going to. We've probably scared the crap out of it. And I'd shoot that kangaroo, but I couldn't be the cross in the water. And no more like the one I'm shooting today. It's going to be a bad shot anyway. And it might have nicked off. Where'd it go? There it is. It's slowly making its way up the hill. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end the hunt there. Like I said, I will be back uh, tonight, most likely, with uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, In-game with Skippy and whoever else joins along, and uh, online. So anything can happen when you're online. You can get uh, hacked or hassled or whatever. But usually uh, Red Dead's pretty good. It's pretty quiet. The people in there, that game are a lot different than our GTA types. So usually have a good session in Red Dead Redemption. And we might be able to do some missions, a bit of hunting, and you know, just make money generally. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be back later today. And there we go. We've got a couple of access deer. We haven't had DD 
pop in and say g'day. So it's been a really good uh, session. So thank you guys for popping in. And if you're on tonight, look out for me. I should be back with Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks, guys.